What's going on everybody? This is going to be a review for Quantum Break. Of course, this is a should you buy a review and then I will do a day one patch following this review, of course, as always. Now, before I get into this review, I just want to put the typical disclaimer out there that this, of course, is just based off my opinion with the game. If you agree with a lot of what I say, then you probably will agree with the review. Of course, I'm going to be honest, and this is an honest should you buy a review for the game. And I'm going to let you know now ahead of time that this is for the Xbox One strictly and not the Windows 10 version, as I do not have a Windows 10 copy. I will have that on Tuesday. And when I do the should you buy it day one patch video, I will be addressing both copies of the game, of course. And that will either be on the Tuesday of the release of the game or I follow on Wednesday. So let's get into this review, guys. Quantum Breaks takes place at a university where time travel experiments are happening. Now, of course, you are somebody who is friends with the person who is performing the time travel experiments. And without getting into too much spoilers, something goes wrong and causes time to flip out. Now, the people who are involved, which I won't spoil as well, end up getting these abilities where they can manipulate time, of course, in different manners and fashions. The game is centered around time and combat. And you, Jack, have to decide how to use your powers and how you use your powers and the decisions you make throughout the course of the game actually impact the story going forward. As there's a little mini series within the game that will actually play between chapters for you deciding on what you've done to show you what will happen next. Now, of course, this gives the game replayability through the story for you to make different choices and was a wise decision. What happens next is really up to you and how you use your powers. Controls for Quantum Break are the core of the game. The game centers around action, fast or slow, and time manipulation. Now, of course, with time manipulation, you would think it's simply stop time or slow time down, but actually that's not the case. You have abilities that allow you to do different things. You can actually move time forward or rewind time or do things like use time distortion and repel time at people to do things like cause shields, bullets to reverse, things to go back in time and move and manipulate objects and things of this nature. The game has puzzles and everything that can be manipulated through the course of time. Now, with this being said, this is something I actually thought was quite interesting about the game because it actually adds to the combat, making the combat just not some simple run, gun, cover, shoot system. It's a little bit more advanced, and if you want to get nice at this game and have a lot of fun, you have to really learn how to control your abilities and use those in combat. So as far as the controls are concerned, I actually think this is the key of the game and what makes the game fun and good. No. Any of them. It could be any of them. The 720p aspect of the game was actually something that was very nerve-wracking to me when I first heard it because I wanted Xbox to have a visually stunning game with high frame rates and resolution. Now, I will admit after playing Quantum Break that I was actually surprised at how good the graphics looked in the game. 720p held back some portions of the graphical aspect of the game but due to the fact that they're using some new filtering systems and they look really stunning visually i was actually surprised that this game will give 900p and 1080p games a run for its money games like ross on their own look amazing on xbox one and this game actually competes with that with a lower resolution so with that being said i can't really find a way to complain about the graphics even if i wanted to the fps on the other hand was a weird decision due to the fact that with 720p i figured you'd get 60 fps but they decided to go with 30 i guess to keep everything flowing smoothly now when you see things like time manipulation and action in the game you don't really get any frame dips, but once in a while you do get a little screen tearing, but you will have to be really nitpicking and looking for that. So overall, visually, I have to say that this game is really good looking, and you can't complain unless you're really looking for something to nitpick. The game does look good, and the FPS is stable at 30. So if it was 30 and dipping, then I probably would have a problem. But since it's stable and it's looking good visually, I would have to say that graphically the game is impressive. And if you bought an Xbox One, this is one of those games that you can show people and show them why you bought an Xbox One. At 
first the 720p was the reason for me to not get this game but after playing the game for myself and checking it out visually i have to say that that was a bad decision if that is a reason that you're thinking to not purchase quantum break then you might as well just put that to the side and go get the game replayability however is something that i look at when i buy games and this game actually has a lack of that now of course you can play the campaign over and make different decisions but let's be honest those decisions really don't change the course of the game that much you get slight little changes here and there but at the end of the day after eight hours for the average gamer you're going to beat this game and then you're going to have something to call what do i do next now with that being said i do definitely think if you liked max pain 3 you should support and get this game because this is that with more new introduced mechanics of course you had to slow down in that game you have it in this game along with other time manipulation so this is definitely something that the max Payne fans will love and i think you should definitely buy the game however due to the fact that the replayability is kind of low you may want to rent this game and you know beat it and then take it back i don't know it's up to you really if you have the 60 dollars though i do suggest you purchase the game to support the company because it's such a good title but at the end of the day there is very low replayability and i have to be honest about that when i do my reviews so with that being said it's really up to you but the bottom line is you should definitely be playing this game when it comes out on tuesday so with that being said let me know what you think in the comment section below and as usual if you have any comments or if you have any questions i will answer them as well and that is all for today I'll let you guys know what's happening with the day one patch with the pc version and if there's any changes or anything like that but as far as the performance of the game goes there's nothing that really needs to be patched because everything was working perfectly fine so with that being said look forward to the day one patch where i give my final thoughts in the game and if there's a patch or anything like that i'll let you know what changes will remain and I will report it on the PC version, of course, with that being 4K and 60 FPS and things of that nature. It's your boy Jimmy B Gaming. I'm out of here. Like I said, you guys talk among yourself in the comment section. Got a question? Let me know. Or let me know what you think. Peace. I said you play. I meant Ubisoft. But it's cool because, you know, assets are assets, whatever it takes. You see some things from Watch Dogs in here, things of that nature. But um, with that being said, graphically, you can't really complain. Even though it does not look like the E3 mod, the game looks amazing, gorgeous. I actually really, really love graphics, as you guys may know. And graphically, I'm giving this thing a perfect 10. Is it the best graphically looking game I've ever seen? No, but it is definitely good enough that I would not complain about the graphics. So for you people like me out there who actually like graphics, because everybody says, it's not about graphics, it's not about... Yes, it is. It looks very pretty, and I'm very happy with the graphics. That's something I cannot say anything bad about. I actually have to say good things about it because of the fact that they added functionality options to actually change these things on console. Never saw that before, me personally, and I thought that was pretty damn dope. So with that being said, let's 